A lot of Nigerians are becoming interested in TV court shows and series. Reality shows about courts in Nigeria is becoming a thing. And this video is a reaction to George Fumi Asaolu of the Justice Court, a popular TV series in Nigeria. Hi guys, welcome to Matters Arising and I am Tokpe Banks. So you guys, we are going to be doing a in-depth reaction to George Fumi Asaolu because you might have been wondering who is George Fumi Asaolu, um, what is her age, where did she go to school, is she a real George, is it for show, is it just a drama, is the Justice Court a real show, we are going to be answering all of those questions in this video. Before we go ahead, please like this video as well as subscribe to this channel and for educational content on parenting, trending issues and women issues in general. So you guys, I stumbled on this um, court show in Nigeria and I think about two years ago and honestly I wasn't interested because I just felt like ah, Judge Judy wannabes so they brought this thing to Nigeria um, because my own husband loves to watch Judge Judy um, and maybe because I'm, I'm a lawyer so I'm like why do I want to be watching what goes on in a courtroom I'm not interested but um, recently a woman went viral um, when she was talking surrounded in my room bunch of women surrounded in my room, room and it became like a sensation so because of that that was what even took me in this rabbit hole and i was like oh let me go and watch uh, i've been seeing snippets of the show on tiktok and were kind of interesting not kind of very interesting so i saw that uh, this show has a, a large following so let me people are interested so i saw that there's a lot of um attention people watch this show i see a lot of you guys if you are a if you watch that show regularly tell me in the comment section so i was like okay let us find out more about this female george who is she um what inspired her to start a court show series in nigeria because the actually the idea of court show series it's not a new one judge judy schneider is the first person to start it in america which i think that her show started in 1996 there about and that show has run for many years and it's, it was a number one show because i think people want to just have an idea of what goes on in a court how issues are settled and all of that so that brings us to judge fumi asaolu who is judge fumi Asaolu. So I went online, I was looking for different information. Like you can't find too much, but you can find something about her. So let's look at who she is. So the place that I could get like in-depth um information on who she is is on their website, and they said that Fumilayo Asaolu, presiding judge of the Justice Court, graduated from Obafemi Awolo University, Ileife, Oshun State, with an LLB degree in 1989, and thereafter attended Nigerian Law School, where she was called to the Nigerian Bar as barrister and solicitor of the Supreme Court of Nigeria. She's a certified mediator, also certified for online dispute resolution with Lagos Multidoc Courts, ODR, ODR Europe, and Qualo Mediation and ADR Professional Resources, USA. Fumilayo has about 30 years of legal practice with extensive experience in litigation and alternative dispute resolution. She commenced her career during NYSC with the Federal Ministry of Justice as a state counsel, moved into private practice, and worked as a senior member in several blue chip law firms, including Tayo Oyetibo SAN and Co. Lai Babatunde SAN and Co. Dele Ogedegbe and Co. Dikbo Okpeshe SAN and Co. As a partner in Lavocat LP and Fumi Asaolu and Co. Please, can we give her a rounding sound of applause? 
clap for her in the comment section my god my goodness let me not get ahead of my face she says she's a member of association of professional negotiators and mediators apnm a fellow of the institute of management consultants nigeria imc nigeria and a certified management consultant cmc by the international council of management consulting institutes icmci she is resourceful meticulous organized and systemic her diligence and capacity to retrieve information with record time are impressive she's analytical in thinking and has an appetite for problem solving a fundamental decision driver Fumilayo Asaolu is a member of Ogbomosho First Community Initiative, a social cultural organization that provides empowerment program for the less privileged, engages in the fight against drug and illicit substance abuse with an existing drug rehabilitation center at Ogbomosho or your state, Nigeria, which caters for the rehabilitation of people who abuse drugs. She relaxes by playing golf of watching reality shows reading and dancing so it was on this website i could get like detailed information about her i checked uh, her linkedin she has a linkedin profile where just normal stuff but this was where i could get like in-depth information about who george fumilayo asaolu is her personal life it's silent we don't know if she's married or if she has children nothing about that is mentioned online okay it's all about her professional life and from what we can see she is <laughs> she's a force she has been in practice for over 30 years do, do, you, do you know what that is she's a she's a senior senior lawyer <laughs> not just any senior lawyer she's a senior senior lawyer and she has the experience okay so let's even talk about let now that we have that let us talk about the show whether it is real or not so now that we have that information about george fumilayo is the justice court a real show is it a real court um or is it just dramatization one thing you need to understand about tv series like the justice court or justice judy is that they are not real courts in the sense of a proper court in um so in nigeria we have the judiciary okay these type of courts like um the justice court is not governed by the nigerian judiciary okay but does it mean that what goes on on the show is fake no not at all let me explain there's something called alternative dispute resolution okay it's a system is a branch of law where people are encouraged instead of going through litigation litigation is when you go to court um you file your matter you have to follow the procedures of evidence in order to bring your evidence before the court and do all of that instead of going through the rigorous process of litigation people are advised to go through adr alternative dispute resolution and under adr there are different methods of adr you have you have um, arbitration you have mediation you have negotiation you have conciliation that, let me not disturb your head about all of that but the most popular adr uh, method is called arbitration where the parties would um employ the services of an arbitrator somebody that is licensed to practice as an arbitrator to settle their issues and when you choose when both parties choose to use an arbitrator whatever agreement is reached is binding on these parties so this is what this shows the the this show is actually like an arbitration meeting okay it's just that it is being televised so when um you approach them or you approach the show because most of the matters that are dealt with on the show are civil matters so you on the show you will not hear a criminal matter that okay maybe somebody um kidnapped somebody or somebody um 
murdered somebody you won't hear all of that on this type of show because in arbitration arbitration can only handle civil cases and civil matters so the people that you see that appear on that show they have agreed okay to come on justice fumilayo and you guys judge fumilayo you guys can see her pedigree um is not like she's um dramatizing she's qualified in fact over qualified for this okay she has the certification she has the 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 license to practice this okay so when they come on her show they are coming to an arbitrator all right and agreements any agreement that is reached on that show is binding on the parties um so it is real as it gets but that courtroom that you see is that a real courtroom no that is a set okay so they because an arbitration can be done anywhere excuse me you can do arbitration in a, in a in the most times they do it in a in a conference room that's why you have the multi-door courthouses in lagos as well as other places in nigeria where before you could only go to like a proper proper courtroom but with the multi-door court system they have like conference rooms that people can um use for their habit for for arbitration and all of that you can do arbitration in a hotel lobby so there is no fixed place where you can do arbitration so because this is an entertainment show they have a set that they have built to look like a court so um and if you watch the show the way the show is structured that is not how a normal court is structured okay in a normal court things are done differently you have to follow the um legal procedure rules you have to follow evidence rules there are a lot of things that you have to do but when you are doing arbitration it's more it's not um as stiff as a proper court okay so it gives you an idea of what goes on in a court but this is not what goes on in a nigerian court okay so just so you know that that it is a show but it is not just any show all right it is as real as it gets the judgments are final uh yeah the judgments are binding let me not say the judgments are final the judgments are binding so yeah um so that's 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 the video on george fumi asaolu we're going to be doing reviews on the cases that go on and just talking about it reacting to those um videos all right thank you so much guys subscribe to this channel if you want to watch um a different perspective of what goes on on the show all right subscribe to this channel like this video i'll see you in my next one bye